Hey, Valley family, how we doing today? It's Friday, October 29th. Can you believe it's the end of October already? I'm gearing up for a fun and exciting weekend. I'm on my way down to uh, experience the wedding of some young friends uh, this afternoon. Looking forward to that. Then on Sunday, we have uh, several baptisms taking place during our time of worship on Sunday morning, and it's not too late if anyone else is thinking about, hey, I've been wondering about baptism, or I think I'm ready to do that, or I'd, I want to make sure I understand what that's about. Hey, tonight, tomorrow, uh, give, me a, give me a call, give me a text, give me an email. Let's have that conversation. Maybe we can't get quite ready by Sunday, maybe we can, but we could do it one of the following Sundays into November. That would be great if you've been thinking about baptism and what does that mean and why would I want to do that or if you're ready to do it. Let's let's get that going. That would be amazing. And then Sunday night, we're all going to have a lot of little visitors from the neighborhood stop by and we get to interact with people, our neighbors, and, and bless them. So I uh, hope that will be a good opportunity for you to have some good conversations with people who live nearby and, and we can bless people who are stopping by our homes. And then Sun, uh, Monday, rather, November 1st, is All Saints Day, which is uh, you know a time when we think about all of God's people and celebrate uh, you know, everyone who is part of this worldwide and family of God throughout time. Amazing. So, uh, a lot of things to think about this weekend and celebrate together. Last Sunday, uh, I was talking about, as part of the message, you know, our spiritual gifts. And I think God doesn't want us uh, sort of wondering or paralyzed by you know, indecision or, or not understanding what our gifts are and, and just sort of saying, well, once I figure that out, I'll start serving. It's not meant to be something that God's trying to keep mysterious and hidden from us. Um, so I was just asking you to think about, you know, maybe some of those kind of natural talents and abilities that God has made a part of who you are. What, what can you do? What do you like to do? What are you good at doing? Maybe that's a way to begin serving and as we begin serving maybe more of those gifts become evident to us as we become involved in the ministry of the kingdom and i'm thinking particularly through the local church our local church at valley another thing i was thinking this week and i thought i would share with you today is that another good indicator of something being your gift is is there something that when you do it other people around you seem to be encouraged to grow, to bear fruit, to experience the love of Christ, and you're helping them grow to maturity when you do whatever it is that you do. That's another strong indicator that that thing, whatever it is, is part of your spiritual giftedness. If when you do something, other people are growing as a result of it, guess what? That's what spiritual gifts are. Do. That's what they're for. So that's another indicator that, hey, that's probably part of your giftedness. So do more of that. We need everybody who's a part of our church family to bring their gifts, to bring their abilities, to bring their availability to the king and be willing to serve so that our church can be strengthened and grow and be as effective as we can be at whatever it is that God is calling us to do in strengthening one another and reaching out to our community and transforming our county and being a, a witness to the world in whatever ways God wants us to. So keep thinking about your place to serve. And again, if you're kind of in a place where you're stuck and you just don't really understand where you might serve at Valley, our leaders, pastors, elders stand ready to help you uh, listen. We will listen to you and uh, try to, you know, hear about what you think you might be able to bring to our church community and help you connect with ministry in a meaningful way. So let's make that happen. All right. Have a good weekend. 
I'll see you soon. Join us on Sunday. It's going to be a great time.